Okay, John, your radio did need an alignment, complete alignment. See these two crystals right here? That's why your radio was off frequency. I can imagine because of the age they changed uh, values, either that or the somebody's been in there monkeying with it, either that or the CTs changed values, but uh, that's what your problem was. Uh, but I did go completely through the radio, did the complete alignment, both receive and transmit. Okay. Uh, you receive with your counter on here loads up when you turn your counter on let's see if I can show that to you okay there's the radio with your counter on I just turn the counter off okay listen to that here's the counter Cutting down your receive. You got too much capacitance on the input, so it's pulling it down, pulling down your receive. Hear the difference? So I'm going to take some of it out. Uh, and also, it's way off still I, I thought you put a bunch of stuff in it and got it lined up but uh see i'm on am right now that should be 3850 uh when i'm on upper sideband that should be 3860 and when i'm on lower sideband that should be 3840 uh and i know it's on frequency uh, let's see mode Lower side band, channel 38. Okay. I'm channel 38, lower side band. Let's see. Okay, I got, got to turn the mic game back up. Hello, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Turn down the volume a little bit. Hello, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio test. Get this thing. Put it in the dummy loads. One more time. Okay. Now I need to turn it back up. Audio. Audio test. Test audio. One, two. Audio. Audio one two three four five five four three two one. Audio test test audio one two three four five five four three two one. That's with both sides on the dummy load. Let me switch that. I'll leave it internally. Uh, Audio, audio, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Can you hear that? Audio, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. It's dead on frequency. We are on lower sideband. That should be three, eight, four. And let me. Uh, let's see, it's not hooked up to my antenna. Now it is. Turn your RF gain down. Hello. Wrong microphone. Hello. Hello. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio testing, testing audio. Audio test, test audio. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio test. Okay, so it's dead on frequency. Let's switch to upper side band. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Okay, upper side band there, upper side band here. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio test. Damn it. 
Audio one two three four five five four three two one. Audio testing. Okay, that was yours transmitting to mine. Here's mine transmitting to yours. Audio testing, testing one two three. So, as you can see, it's dead on frequency. And let me show you that I know that mine is on frequency. Uh, that damn thing's got too many buttons. This is WWV. Here are the kicks. seconds. Okay. Yeah, let me put this one back on 385. All right, so it's all lined up. Now see, you were on upper sideband, but your counter says 385. It should be saying 386. And we're on lower sideband, your counter says 383. It should say 384. And AM, of course, should say 385. Looks like it's one kilohertz off. So I'll go in and take some of the capacitance out of it and uh, uh, align it, you know, calibrate it, make it read what it's supposed to. And uh, let's see, we're on AM now. And I've got, come on, switch the antenna from that radio to this one. And put this old boy on a different channel. And there we go, 27384993. You see that? my Tektronix right there. I touched the clarifier, just touched it. But, uh, see it's right on 38, 385, let me key it again. 3850. Okay, all right, I'll uh, do the counter and, and uh, more to come. Okay, Joe, this damn uh, variable resistor is not working anymore. I took the five picofarad cap off of it you'd put on there. Uh, when I try to adjust it now, it doesn't do shit. You know, well, I'm not going to say it. It's not working, and I don't have any more of them. Um, I'll see if I can get a regular size one to work. If I can't, then we're going to have to wait on the part. All right. Okay, I see what the problem is. It's broke. That pin that's on that end of it is gone. See there, you can see... The side on the right still has the connection, the side on the left doesn't. And when I look at the board, I think I still see it attached to the board. These things are very fragile. Alright, let me see if I can get a regular one to work. Okay, here we go. I uh, put a regular sized uh, variable capacitor in here. One of the standard size ones, PC board mount. I've got it soldered to the little pads that the other one was on. And I'm warming up my hot glue gun now. I'm going to put some hot glue around it. 
uh, to make sure that it doesn't move and break those pads loose okay you can see right now we're on AM and it's reading 273850 upper side band reading 273860 lower side band well that's an adjustment in the radio 273841 let me touch that up just a little bit right there okay that's lower side upper side AM okay All right, that's lower side of 38. Uh, I already demoed that, but uh, we're on the lower side. Let me turn the volume back up. Audio, audio test, test audio. Audio one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio test, test audio one, two. Audio testing. And the feedback through the microphone. Okay. As soon as the uh, glue gun gets hot, turn that noise back down. As soon as the glue gun gets hot, I'm gonna put some some hot glue around it, to keep it from moving. All right, I'll be back. Okay. Now let's see. had the radio turned off while I was doing all this but you can see I got hot glue all around it hold it in place okay don't want to pull in the pads off of that and if we ever need to change this or move this around we need to put heat on the hot glue and let the hot glue drip off we can't freeze this and uh, pry it off because it'll break those little pads there underneath that uh, variable capacitor where the tiny one was at. Alright, there's the upper side, AM, upper side, lower side. Okay, I'm going to put it back in the case. So, more to come. Okay, Joe, here's what I did. Got a hole in the bottom of the shield. Hey, we got plenty of room in the box for it. So that that guy there could stick through. And I could close the shield all the way up. So you can still get to it and make an adjustment without taking that out of the uh, shield box. And it lets it sit all the way down in there. Okay. That way I was able to solder the corners back like they should be. I'll put the top on it and uh, check it one more time because it will probably change frequency after I get the shield put on there. More to come. Okay, here's what we got. I did have to do a slight touch up, but just barely touch it. There's upper side, there's AM, upper side again, lower side bend. Okay. Uh, 3850 is center slot AM. 3860 is center slot upper sideband. 3840 center slot lower sideband. Okay. All right. I'll button it up and do one final video. So, more to come. Okay, here we go. We are on the lower side of 38. It's uh, been storming up here. So there's absolutely nothing on the air to listen to, but you can tell counter don't load it down anymore.
Okay. There's lower side, upper side, AM. Now remember, these counters are not super accurate, okay? Uh, they're for reference only. Right there, center slot on lower side bend. But that, you know, I may, that may not be perfect center side bend, but it matches my uh, FT450, and my FT450 is exactly on frequency. Okay. All right, I'll put the covers on the radio. Well, be right back. Okay, Joe R. from South Florida. This is your unit in Washington. Uh, went in and did a complete alignment on it. Did find a couple of problems in the, uh, the frequency determining section and the IF section. Got those all aligned properly. Uh, even did an alignment on the noise blinker circuit. As you can see right now, we're on the lower side of 38. 3840, right where it's supposed to be. Upper side band center slot is 3860. Sometimes these counters, they move back and forth. I wouldn't think too much about it. There's AM 3850. Back to upper side, back to lower side, okay? Again, let me reiterate, these counters are for reference only. They're not that accurate, okay? They're pretty good, but they're not perfect. And there's absolutely no traffic on the lower side of 38 tonight. About six o'clock in the evening, we've got thunderstorms. Normally, I'd have all kind of DX coming in here, but it's that time of year. When the storms roll in, it kills all of the DX. All right, I'm going to uh, go ahead and box it up. Seven threes.